the 1988 European Formula 3000 Championship, Roberto Marino was back again to prove himself and try to move up to Formula 1. Experience had told him practice, and it was Marino with the Reynard in pole position. And from the inside, it's Roberto Marino and the yellow Reynard leading off for the first of 72 laps, ahead of Alessi, Raphael, Martini and Bernard. Marino was able to avoid confrontations with the barriers and backmarkers and drive conservatively to a 20-second advantage over Alessi. So the highly rated Brazilian was able to drive to his first win of the season over the Frenchman. Power was a significant win for Roberto Marino and for Reynard with Alessi second and Martini third. The presentation on Roberto's mind, no doubt, on the next round of the championship at Silverstone. The two Reynards battling it out of the front of the field and Marino was preparing for a charge up through Abbey and towards the Woodcote complex. Marino pulled out to the left-hand side of the track, ducked under the Belgian driver and was into the lead. From this point, the Brazilian controlled the race from the front. Two wins in a row then for Roberto Marino. So to the presentation and Gerald Lassels as usual doing the honours. Carrying on from Silverstone, Roberto Marino led the pack down through the Retafilio from Gasho, Griard and Apicella. Through the Parabolica for the last time comes Marino and onto the start finish straight. The Marino hat-trick at Monza saw him with a firm grip on the championship. Three in a row is a hard act to follow. Championship-wise, Marino now with a 15-point lead over Foytek and then Herbert creeping up to third place from Gasho. A delighted Roberto Marino. The field was evenly spaced at the front, Roberto Marino in a comfortable lead. On to Bristol Street for the last time, and Marino's clear of back markers and on to a victory. In second place, Donnelly's similarly clear of Martini. Four wins then in four races for Roberto Marino. So to the start of the last race of the championship. And Marino set about showing the others why he was champion. Away from the start, Donnelly into second place, but in a first lap scramble he was soon demoted to third. Marino the winner with 43 points from Briard and Donnelly in second and third places. But for 1988, Roberto Marino had scored the goal that he'd set himself. A drive in Formula One for the new season by the brilliant Brazilian who's been knocking on the door for a long time. <laughs>